Welcome to this video on the Cambridge IGCSE May-June 2014 Syllabus 0580 Paper 21. So in this video, we'll be looking at question 19 on page 12 of this exam. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and to tap on the no notification bell to get notified for when I upload a video. Okay, let's start. So, this question here is worth 7 marks, and the question is, the diagram shows a rectangle A, B, C, and E. D lies on E, C, and D, A, B is the sector of a circle, radius 8 cm, and sector angle 30 degrees. Calculate the area of the shaded region, which the shaded region is from D, C to B. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing we should consider from this is to write down the formula of a sector of a circle, which is A is equal to so A is equal to theta over 360 times by pi r squared. Pi r squared. Okay, so now we're going to take what we see in this uh, question and we're going to substitute it. So theta in this case is our angle of 30 degrees. So 30 degrees. So 30 over 360 times by pi, which is referred to as 3.14, which is times by r squared, which is from a to b, we get an 8 squared. So times by 8 squared. It's not 4 squared because sector of a circle is half of a circle. So it's going to be 8 squared as our radius. Okay. So now, when you put all this in your calculator, you should get a result of 16.75 centimeters squared. So, 16.75 centimeters squared. Okay. So that's our first part. So we found the area of, uh, we found the sector of a circle. So that's 16.75 centimeter squared. So basically this region here. Here, I'll just do the region for you. So that's 16.75 centimeter squared. Okay, our next step is we're going to move on to AED specifically from this region here. So coming up from this region, like this. Okay, so the key thing from this region is that we see an angle of 60 degrees. And basically, when you see an angle in a triangle, it's basically telling us that we have to use trigonometry. Okay, so let's write down the three possible outcomes we can get from this. So, our, which are sine of 60, cosine of 60 and tan of 60 and these are all equal to so sine of 60 is equal to square root 3 over 2 uh, yeah square root 3 over 2 and cosine of 60 is 1 over 2 and tan of 60 is square root 3 okay so now I've got uh, I've got these three results so something else to consider in this triangle is that the fact that it has 8 centimeters in the hypotenuse position. This tells us that something, which is EA, so this position from EA, the length of EA, so E, so something over 8, which we can also consider as a hypotenuse. Um, so we take from these three results what we've got from sine, cosine, and tan. So whatever one is... Uh, like is in the position of, of 8 with a hypotenuse, that's the one we're going to consider. What I mean is, let's take so katoa. If you haven't heard of it, I'll write it down for you. So, so ka toa. This basically refers to sine being equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and uh, so cosine being equal to adjacent adjacent over hypotenuse and uh, tangent being equal to opposite over adjacent. So we can consider two possible outcomes from this which are both uh, sine and cosine because they both are in the position of a hypotenuse in the denominator, denominator position and we can cancel out tan from our possible outcome as it has an adjacent in the in that position. Okay so now I'm just going to rub this out. So, 
So we know that it's either going to be so, uh, sine or cosine. So sine or cosine. So it's either going to be square root 3 over 2 or half. And we already know that it's going to be like question mark over 8. It's going to have to be an equivalent fraction to one of these. Well, let's take the half because it's an, it's not it's a rational like number. It's not irrational like square root 3 over 2. So something over 8 is equal to half. And from uh, most of you probably already know equivalent fractions and that we'd know that 4 over 8 would be the answer as 4 over 8 is equal to 1 over 2. Therefore, our missing angle, our missing length is actually 4. So it's going to be 4 centimeters. So from E to A is 4. Okay. So we found that area. I mean that length, sorry. So now, we found 2 out of the 3 uh, lengths in this triangle. So now, I'm just going to show you the region we're looking at. So we're specifically looking at this region here. And we found th 2 out of 3 lengths. And so now we're going to use Pythagoras theorem to find the third length. This one, this will enable us to find the area of this triangle. Okay, so a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Therefore, we can substitute c squared being equal to a squared, and a squared being equal to four squared, plus b squared, which we can also consider it being e d squared, because that's what we're looking for. So e d squared. And now we're going to rearrange the ED squared, which will be equal to 64 minus 16. ED squared being equal to 64 minus 16, which is also equal to 48. So now ED squared, we're going to take the square root of that, square root of 48, which now ED will be equal to, so put that in your calculator and you're going to get 6.93. So 6.93, okay, 6.93 centimeter. So now that's our length. So it's going to be 6.93, 6.93, sorry, 6.93. Okay, so I'm just going to underline this as it's a key part of, of our equations. 6.93. So now we found the length. So now this enables us to find the area of this triangle. So we're going to use our knowledge for, to find the area of the triangle, so half times by, uh, sorry, 6.93, as it's our height, which is times by 4. And now, this part's easy, you can just cut half and 4 to become, uh, like, 2. So now, you just multiply 6.93 by 2. If you don't know, you can just use your calculator, but it's straightforward, so 13.86. Okay, so now we're going to underline this as well, because this is going to be important for us when we're in our last step. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to find the area of the rectangle, so our total area. So now that's that's actually straightforward because uh, we've found 4 centimeters from being E and A. Okay, so area of rectangle is literally length times width which is equal to our length is 8, which is times by 4. And this gives you 32 centimeters squared. I'm going to underline this as well. Okay, we're on our last step now. I'm just going to rub this out for you. So, our last step. Let's rub this area out. Okay, our final step is to take our total and subtract it by our two areas to find our uh, the shaded area. So I'm just going to put a space. So this is where our final answer is going to be. So it's going to be 32. 32 subtracted by 16.75. Which is subtracted by. Uh, specifically what we've got over here. So I just rubbed it. Oh yeah, it's right here. 13.86. So that was our area of the triangle at the top, so from E, D, A. And now, this is going to give you an answer of 1.39. So that's your answer. So that's the area of the shaded. Yep. So it's going to be this region here. 
So that's I, that's the area of the shaded region, 1.39. So hopefully you enjoyed this video on IGCSE question 19. Okay, subscribe for more math content and bye.